Okay, so our second molecule is BEF2. Um, and to draw the, uh, and B, let's see, so B, the center here, has um, two valence electrons. And F has, or fluorine has seven. And since we want, we know that B, oops, BE is an exception to the octet rule, so it only wants four valence electrons instead of the normal eight. And since fluorine is trying to get to the octet rule, we just want to create a covalent bond with these two sharing and these two sharing here. And we have this linear shape, which satisfies the exception of BE and the octet rules for um, fluorine. And to check that we have the right amount of electrons, I'm just going to add it up here. Um, so since fluorine has seven, that's seven times two. And since BE has two valence electrons, that's two times one. So 14 plus two is 16. So let's count that up. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we know that this is the right structure for BEF2. And yeah, okay. So now we're going to try to draw the um, geometrical um, figure. Um, and since BE only has two regions of electron density, we know that it's going to be a linear um, geometry. So we just draw it out and it's going to look the same here with F on either side. Um, and the degree here, because it's linear, has to be 180 degrees. Um, and because it's a linear um, geometry, it means that the electron geometry and the molecular ge geometry are going to be exactly the same in this case. Um, polarity, um, because um, B, E, and F are have on different sides of the um, periodic table, with B, E on this side and F all the way on this side, we know that their, their electronegativity is going to be very different. So this molecule has a dipole moment. Um, but because it has so much symmetry, um, or because it has symmetry, um, there will be, this, this molecule will be polar, non-polar. Molecule will be non-polar. <laughs>